And there's a real effort in this country right now to get kids excited about science, math, engineering. And a local company is doing that, but in a very unique way. Now, these are research vehicles you're going to see lifting off under helium balloons. And in just about 90 minutes, they travel from the ground to the edge of space, 100,000 feet. They'll be in a near vacuum, almost no air. The temperature will drop to 90 degrees below zero. And on the return to Earth, moments of zero gravity. And on board each of these vehicles are hundreds of student science projects. They're pretty small. They're the size of a ping pong ball. But you can pack a lot of science, even electronics, into a pong set. Also, some of them are plant seeds being exposed to cosmic rays. And what happens to a marshmallow in the vacuum of space? There's some of the electronics in a pong set. And some are packed with those microelectronics like GPS, sensors, cameras, radiation detectors. They are all getting a free ride to the edge of space courtesy of a small Sacramento aerospace company, JP Aerospace. In the past 12 years, JP Aerospace has launched about 16,000 Pong sets to the top of the atmosphere. They are sent here from students all around the world, launched out here at Black Rock Desert, northern Nevada. The balloon vehicles travel through the jet stream. Usually they come back to Earth about 100 miles downrange, but by using GPS telemetry, even locator beacons, they're able to find those balloon vehicles and return the science experiments to students all around the world. Again, it's all free, no charge whatsoever. They have a Kickstarter program that helped them raise money for this, which is kind of cool. And Rob, I don't know what sparked your interest in science, but this is doing it for a lot of kids. And, and by the way, it's not just for kids, but uh, anybody from like elementary wow. to uh, high school, even senior citizens can do this. They, they well, and we should say you were there. I was, I was out there mm -hmm. for this launch. I've, I've done a lot of stories with JP Aerospace because they really do some neat uh, projects. I mean, they've been seen on Discovery Channel, Science Channel, PBS, Top gear programs like that. One of the fun things is their mission control on these missions is an old News 10 microwave van, which you know, they're showing them a lot of love. Every time they, they raise some money and do a mission, they, they, they you know, show some love to the van with maybe a new transmission or something like that. Right. But it's shown up in a lot of these documentaries. Well, how fascinating but, uh, is it to be out there and see that actually happen? Science, and it will get the yeah. kids involved, at least we hope. And, and you know, some of these Pong sats have actually contained science for like uh, experiments for cancer research, that sort wow. of thing. So, you know, some of them, again, are very sophisticated with electronics inside and others are just very simple putting some some seeds up there to be exposed to cosmic rays that are otherwise absorbed by the atmosphere and don't hit the earth so JP Aerospace it's www.japaerospace.com or go to Kickstarter and uh, search the word pong set you can okay. find out more information and Rob we know you are all about the science right well I remember when I was a kid uh, we did this experiment uh, as a school we would attach a uh, three by five index card to a, a helium air balloon and one of those traveled all the way to Arizona and that was the first time I ever heard of something called the jet stream. That's how I was able to get over there. So yeah, I have a, a, a background in a similar experiment, but Dale, that's my experiment on steroids going up to 100,000 feet. That's insane. And you know, it's, it's great that it's free, but it does cost money. So that's why you really want to go to that Kickstarter page and, and kick in yourself. It's kind of cool because like for 10 bucks, they'll fly a business card. For 50 bucks, they'll put your name on a little board and then photograph it at the edge of space with the earth in the background. So you get something back for it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And it's awesome that it's local as well.